Welcome back to my studio. Uh, as you can see, I've changed shirts. This is actually day two uh, of this whole kind of finishing off this painting. It uh, just takes a little longer when you're doing all the video, the setup and take down. Um, but I did do a little bit yesterday afternoon after I finished videoing. So you can see in here, this area around the sun is quite a bit more resolved. So I've, I've lightened and warmed up all of these colors here and I went back over the sun in the area right around it. So there's like about three coats of titanium white um, on the actual sun. So it's by far the brightest area of the painting. Um, and you can see I've added the glow onto these trees as we move away from the sun and made one of them a birch tree. Um, now I still have to continue that glow up here away from the sun, down here and out here as well as over here. So that's kind of the next thing that I'll do. And I've also kind of laid in one small birch tree here. Um, and so as I said, at each point I need to reassess what's going on. So for now, I'm, I'm really happy with the glow of the sun. I'm gonna continue to expand that out from here. And then once I've done that, then we'll come back and take a look at how that impacts the painting and what's the next step that I need to move on to. Okay, so I've resolved that whole area around the glow of the sun um, and we'll show a close up in here but you can see that as we move away from the sun you know the greens have gotten more more lighter and warmer in here um, we've lit up the sides of the trees through here all the way throughout to the left here and up into here as well now I've also done a little bit um, down in here of putting those dots of color um, into the ground clutter to warmth that so that warmth continues to radiate away and I've gone over all of these dark trees and put a little bit of uh, color in there so it's a little bit more on the um, the warm kind of red side as it faces towards the sun and it's a little bit more on the blue or bluey gray on the side away from the sun that's one of those very subtle things um, but the overall impact of that really, really adds um, to that light effect. And it's one of those things too, um, like we'll do a shot maybe from far away and then we'll zoom in up close. And it's one of those things that disappears as you move back away from the painting um, because the values are very close together in terms of how dark those colors are. But then as you move forward, those colors kind of come to life more. And that's one of the things I really like about a painting, um, something that really you know, engages me is when a painting changes as you move towards it or move away from it. Things become apparent as you get closer um, that were not apparent when you were, say, 10 or 15 feet away. So I've put light on all of the trees, and it's actually really, really coming together now. I just think this, uh, this tree here, I think that wants to be a birch tree. I think one more birch tree um, will do it. And I just think, too, that these three trees here, one, two, three, are a little too similar. Remember I said anything that bugs me? Um, those three trees together like that are a little bit like uh, marching soldiers, this, the very similar. So if I make one of them a birch tree, um, that will break that up. And I also, we don't really have any birch trees other than over here, this little one where the birch trees intersect. And I think having one of the birch trees um, intersect with another one, will again, will provide some interest. And it'll just help link together this whole there's like a big gap here with no birches, so that will kind of link us over to here. Um, and we've got these branch shapes coming up here to bring the eye over. And then so we've got that to do. We've got the uh, ground clutter, the dots of color to put in there. And then when I finish that, um, oh yeah, we still have highlights on the birches. Um, and then we'll get into that final kind of dots of color that will really unify the painting. But uh, I'm really, really happy with how this is turning out. So. Let me get back to work and we'll, get, we'll come back in a little while. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you found uh, this information helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I also appreciate the likes and the comments. If there's anything that you'd like me to cover that I haven't, um, please uh, give me comments. I'll take that into consideration. And I uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Um, that's it for now. I'm Tim Packer. Bye-bye.